Hello again friends and fellow Vikings, my name is Roger, and on today's adventure I'm going to be giving you 50 tips in 10 minutes. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, comment, and like, I appreciate you. Tip number one, every food benefits your health and stamina. Most food gives you 1 or 2 HP per tick, but honey gives you 20 health, 20 stamina, and 5 HP per tick. Number two, mushrooms are the best food to use when trying to tame boars. Number three, keep every carrot seed you find and stockpile them for later when you get your cultivator. Number four, train up all different types of weapons. They are all useful, and as of right now, you can train by just hitting a rock inside a house next to a fire, which gives a huge stamina buff. Number five, shields are awesome, but give a minus percentage to movement speed. To avoid getting slowed all the time, put the shield on your hotbar and unequip it fast and easy. The letter R on your keyboard stows your current weapons fast and easily and pulls them out in combat. The letter F on your keyboard will activate your boss skill. The letter Q on your keyboard will activate auto run for you, but still lets you look around in different directions. Number eight, yellow mushrooms that spawn inside dungeons can still quickly respawn even after the dungeon has cleared. Number nine, red mushrooms respawn in the same spots on the map every few days in game. Keep track of them via your map icons. Sweet mushrooms. Number 10. Raspberries and blueberries also respawn in the same location every few days. So you can also keep track of those on your map with icons as well to get easy access to berries. Number 11. Get your first pickaxe from the first boss Ekthir when he drops his antlers. Number 12. Instead of getting stung by bees trying to knock down the hive, just grab 10 wood, build a workbench, and disassemble the house with your hammer. Then just walk up and grab the bee. The queen bee. Number 13. Flint can be found along almost every body of water near the shore. Number 14. Tin can be found alongside bodies of water also. Number 15. Copper spawns in huge nodes and almost looks identical to stone nodes. The only difference is the shiny veins on it and when you hover your cursor over it, it says copper deposit. Number 16. When using a hoe and walking uphill, the hoe will smash the ground down. But when walking downhill, the hoe will lift the ground up. An example is right here. Going uphill, smashing down. An example of going downhill, pushing the dirt up. Tip number 17. Gray dwarves are scared of fire and will run away from it and will take extra damage from fire. Tip number 18. Using the left control button will let you sneak and let you sneak right up behind deer and then one shot them. Tip number 19. Repairs at workstations are completely free. You can find this little hammer right here. Press it until every single one of your items is repaired. And it works the same way for the forge. Number 20. Hand torches cannot be repaired. Number 21. 
Standing wood torches and other lighting items can be filled with resin to keep them burning. Number 22. Hang on to any gold coins and gems and splockpile them. Someday you'll run into the merchant and you can use them up. 23. Birds can be shot with a bow and drop feathers that you will need to make better tiered arrows. 24. The forge is not an upgrade of your workbench. It functions just like the workbench. Interact with it to prepare your metal items. Number 25. Your rested buff starts at comfort level 1, outside, with just the campfire and nothing else around it. And it gives you 7 minutes. And that goes up by 1 minute for every comfort level above that. So at comfort level 10, you'll have 17 minutes of rested. 26. Cold debuff and wet debuff both affect your HP and stamina regen. Stacked together, they're really nasty. Get a fire and a roof over your head to fight off the cold and wet. Cold, minus 50% health regen. Stamina minus 25%. Wet. Minus 25%, stamina minus 15%. Number 27. Your cooking station goes directly over your fire. Number 28. Campfires have to be set on dirt or on top of core wood. Core wood comes from pine trees. Pine trees can be found in black forest areas. Number 29. Pickaxes can dig trenches around areas you want to keep monsters out of. Number 30. Monsters won't spawn near player built areas, but close to them and will attack them. Number 31. You can't transport any type of ore through portals, so make a trail with your hoe by flattening the ground and using your cart to haul the ore back to base, or build something better. Number 32. Taming a two-star animal will give you a two-star baby when breeding. If breeding with a lower than two-star animal, it has a chance to be lower than two-star. So cull the lower levels out, kill them off for materials, and keep the high stars. And sooner or later, you'll just have all two-star animals. Number 33. Subscribe to this channel to enter Valhalla. Number 34. Burning your food on a cooking station will give you coal, and then charcoal kilns will burn wood into coal for you. Number 35. Certling cores can be found in dungeons called burial chambers, scattered all throughout the Black Forest areas. 36. Iron scraps are found in swamp area dungeons, and can be smelted into a furnace with coal to make iron bars. Number 37. Being able to build using stone unlocks when you get a stone cutter and takes iron to make one. Number 38. Furniture needs to be in close proximity to each other to raise your comfort level properly. If it's too far away from each other, one of the items won't give you the comfort level that it should. Number 39. When sailing into the wind, Put your sails up, and you will go faster. Number 40. Having holes in your walls of your house does not affect your comfort level, but your workbench and your forge must have a roof over them to function properly. Number 41. Trolls suck. Number 42. You can change your boss skill by visiting the stones where you first appear into the game. Build a portal to them for easy changing of these skills. Number 43. Repair some of the beat up huts in the world that you encounter for safe havens when traveling. You can store some of the stuff that you travel so you don't have to carry everything around with you all the time and just come back for it at another time. Number 44. In order not to freeze in the mountain areas or snowy biomes of Valheim, you can get yourself some frost mead or you can craft yourself some frost-resistant clothing. 
Number 45. Dig out these stone croppings in meadows and fields to find hidden treasure chests. You can also find bones. Number 46. More monsters spawn at nighttime, and it's easier to travel during the day. Number 47. If you hang on to the seeds that you get from chopping down trees, you can use your cultivator later on to plant those trees, and then if you're really feeling up to it, you can build a tree house inside those big pine trees. Number 48. Ancient seeds are needed for summoning the second boss. They drop off the gray dwarf brutes, and they look like this right here. Number 49, one and two star mobs don't have more armor, but significantly hit have more hit points and hit harder, but they do also drop more items. Number 50, that shadowy figure that sometimes appears and scares the crap out of you, but disappears when you try to approach it, could be Odin checking on you. So skull friends, and thanks so much for hanging out with me. I look forward to hundreds of hours more playing Valheim, don't forget to subscribe to Enter Valhalla. My name is Roger, and I'll see you on my next adventure. Take care of yourself, everybody.